Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play X-Men 2 Clone Wars. This is Grango here, and we're about to start at assaulting Apocalypse's Fortress. And so, I'm going to show you, first of all, our new character here, Magneto, and why you should not use Magneto in this case. As you can see, I'm showing you here basically what he can do. Um, his basic attack, he's the only one whose basic attack, without using his mutant power, actually fires a projectile. And what you may not be noticing here as well is that Magneto is slow as hell. And that makes this first part of Apocalypse's Fortress here really not a place you want to be using Magneto in. Because as you can see, all these boulders are falling down. And you have to stand under those places where it shows you the... Um, where you can see it's hitting the wall, the boulders are hitting the wall, in order to basically defend yourself against the boulders raining down on you, because Magneto is too slow to outrun all of them. And he's very floaty when he jumps, as you can see, but there's a reason for that, and you'll be seeing that a little later. But anyway, Magneto can shoot those magnetic blasts, I guess you can call them, with his basic B attack, and he can hit enemies. And so I'm just going along and hitting the enemies here. Now, I will point out that this basic attack here is at, if you're shooting somebody with it, it's only half as powerful as any other character's basic attack. Another reason, you probably may not want to use Magneto right away. But, I'll show you, once this part is done, the next part, I'll show you why Magneto is a good character. But anyway, I figured I'd just record this first part here with Magneto to start out with. So you can see, you know, if you're curious, you know, now that we've unlocked him, what he does and everything. Um, now, if you listen to the music, hear that it sounds a lot like the music from Siberia. It's basically just a, a recycled version of the theme from Siberia, and they alter it just a bit for every character. So with Magneto, they kind of put that other tune in the background there. I see I made a few mistakes there. I had full health and then I lost that pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, so it's not entirely me that's, you know, it's not entirely Magneto that's sucking here. Um, I'm sucking with Magneto, and to be honest, I have never beaten this level with Magneto. I believe I've beaten it with just about every other character. Um, and that kind of slight disconnect you can kind of hear in the background in the music, that's not just my emulator being derp. That is actually, to a degree, how that sounds on the Genesis. For some reason, when they remixed this little theme for Magneto, they didn't quite do it exactly right. So there, I took a little shortcut there. And there's the other thing Magneto can do. Um, you may have saw before, um, his mutant power attack is to fire a ball of magnetic energy that basically will wipe out things in either an area or the entire screen. Um, and he can also, if you press A while jumping, he'll hover, which, as I mentioned, will come in quite a bit of handy for the next section of the stage. So we're just hopping along here, basically waiting to die, because, well, spoiler alert, I will die. Like I said, never beaten this with Magneto. Because he's just too floaty, he's just too slow, and he's just, you know, right after you 
you know, right after you unlock Magneto, you want to use him. But this is not the way to really showcase him right when you unlock him. Not a great thing for this game. But anyway, now, let Wolverine show you how it's done. And it took me about five minutes, a little over five minutes, to get as far as I did with Magneto. Watch how fast Wolverine does this. It's kind of ridiculous. Wolverine being the second fastest character in the game, only a little slower than Nightcrawler. And you might be thinking, well, what really good does this do, or you know, what a character who can only melee attack do against all these little guys? Well, Wolverine's low to the ground. He's a, he's a short guy. He takes out guys pretty quick. Not only that, but he can outrun all the boulders. So they're of little consequence to him. Is really the only place he's got to worry about them is when they're falling on the edges. So... Wolverine is the guy I like to use for this level, and he's the guy I would recommend for this level. Now, Wolverine, you'll kind of, I'm actually going to go through here and not use his mutant power really at all. Um, I don't touch the A button on this level, and I don't ever really reach a low enough health to where... Wolverine has the ability, when he reaches down to rather low health, anywhere but below 4 health, I believe, to recover his health. Uh, his mutant power in the series is that he's a, a fast healer. Um, he has superhuman healing abilities. So he does that. Anyway, we've reached the boss. It's Tusk. Now, what Tusk will normally do is... He's the one who's been throwing the boulders down at you, and then he'll also spawn more of those little guys. Well, you'll see here, I don't give him the opportunity. I just knock him into this pattern, I'm rushing forward to try to knock me off the thing, I'll just jump down before he hits me, and if you're using Wolverine, this first part of this level, first part of Apocalypse's Fortress, is a complete joke. Done. Moving on. Now let me show you why Magneto, or a place where Magneto is actually a good character. And you'll have to forgive my emulator on the music. For some reason it wasn't working optimally with my recording software as it has in the past, so... It's going to be kind of... the music's going to be kind of glitchy. Um, so, I guess you can just enjoy the soothing or not soothing, maybe grating sounds of my voice um, while we go through this level. Because Apocalypse's Fortress in itself is actually, despite this video being 20 minutes long, five minutes of that being taken up by Magneto um, in the first part of this level, it's actually not a long level. So there you saw his... Mutant Power A attack, just wiping out the screen there with the uh, yellow bars of the health. It's pretty ridiculous. Boom, those guys are gone. Yeah, but as I said before, those shots there, they're only half as powerful as a character's punch or something. But when you're dealing with these little guys who are, you know, they only take one hit to kill for anybody. That's going to be useful. It's going to be extremely useful, because you want to keep these guys at a distance. They can only hit you by rolling into you. So, and there gets to be quite a bit of them later on in the level. Now here's another thing, these walls. You want, if you're going to play Magneto in this level, you want to just walk up and hit the walls, because you could shoot the walls, but again, it's only half as powerful as a punch. And when you get into these spinning, rotating things here, you know, that are chasing you, you want to move quickly, but if you just go up and hit something, you know, basically with your arm while you're doing the basic attack, that counts as being as powerful as a punch. So Magneto is really no weaker 
in that regard. Um, you can just keep hitting the wall as you would normally with any character. Now here's another kind of fun thing with Magneto and basically any character with a ranged attack. Your ranged attack can go through the wall. So you can just hit that button to make the to make the rotating columns here go in the other direction. And if you do it at, if you do it on that first hit, you don't even have to break through that wall. So we're just gonna keep moving here. And we have to basically wind our way down through the interior of Apocalypse's Fortress. And I personally just love using Magneto here, because I am the master of Magnet, and no puny human walls or inferior mutant walls can stop me. Those little guys seem to be having a bit of a fun heyday with that, but I'll show up who's boss. And I also kind of like, or well, I kind of like it, though it's really kind of weird how Magneto's cape is constantly fluttering even though he's holding still. It's like, what, is there a draft in this fortress? I don't know. And if he just kind of pauses, you can kind of see the magnetic energy just kind of rippling through him, which is actually kind of a neat little effect. Other characters, they'll just stand there, you know, breathing or whatever. Magneto? No. Who needs your puny breathing? I've got magnet powers. You know, that helps me breathe. Right? Right? Anyway, I'm just mowing down the little guys here. Now, I also want to point out here that this is my first foray into post-commentary. I'm not doing live commentary on this video, as I have done in all my videos past, so... Um, however, I did also have to use my video editor. And my rather inferior video editor. I did just install a new one, um, so I'll see how that works. But, anyway, we're done with that level. And now we're actually going to get into the fight with Apocalypse. So basically we're in front of Apocalypse... Uh, excuse me, we're in front of Apocalypse's computer and he's got these mines that he's sending out to try to hit us. And right there what I just blew up, basically those are I guess viruses or maybe mini bombs that we have to hit to basically work on destroying or shutting down Apocalypse's computer, because he's basically allowing the Phalanx to use it to run their invasion. And so, what I'm doing with Magneto here is, basically, if you want to cheese this level, this is how you do it. You just go to the edge with Magneto, just shoot those virus things, or mini-bombs, and then when Apocalypse comes out to play every so often, you just shoot him. It is going to take you longer than it normally would with other characters to actually beat him, but if you are having a hard time somehow um, fighting Apocalypse, which is basically just a matter of memorizing the patterns of these bombs, because there we're on the last little set of this pattern, and it will basically repeat in the same order every time. See, we're now, now we're back to the beginning with the two mines, without any mini-bombs being launched with it. But you can basically just, you know, memorize this pattern and use another character, or if you would rather avoid any just about any damage whatsoever. Just pull out Magneto, sit on the left side, or either side I suppose, and just keep shooting. And 
you are pretty much guaranteed to win this. You'll see with Apocalypse's derp AI, he can't hit you. At all. So, just about. I mean, I don't know how... There was one time in here where he basically got... ...lucky and supposedly ran into me here. I don't know what the hit detection was doing at that point, but... So here I basically tried... <laughs> I just tried to show off. I wanted to see if I could use my A attack to destroy the mini-bomb. So, but that kind of threw off what I was doing. <laughs> so... Um, I guess what happened here was I didn't... Um, I didn't jump as high as I normally would. So he, I think he knocks me down once here. But that was basically one other time where I tried to show off. You'll probably see... I guess he didn't knock me down here, but... Basically, he knocks me down twice, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm, I notice now here watching this that I'm not as... I didn't jump as high as I normally would. And here he comes again. So yeah. Apocalypse is derp AI. He's only aiming for the ground. So... Just stay to the left. He'll never go all the way to the left. And... He can't hit me. I don't know what kind of weapon he's using that he's not able at all to basically extend that arm out straight in front of him, but he's not using it. So yeah, you can just watch this video, you'll watch the pattern, and it shouldn't be any trouble for you to beat Apocalypse. He's really, well, the bosses in this game, in the first place, are rather easy. Um, I would probably say, just given the length of the battle, that Apocalypse is one of the more annoying bosses in the game, if you're not good at memorizing patterns. Now, if I'm not using Magneto here... By the way, it should take me, I guess, one or two more hits before I will actually finish this computer off. Yeah, it's going to be one more hit, but I was going to say... My favorite guy to use in this is Wolverine, because with Wolverine's attack, with his mutant power, it is ungodly strong. And I can finish... I can actually finish off Apocalypse using Wolverine before the computer goes down here. So now Apocalypse is just going to hang out. He's not going to go back up. He's going to try and beat us here. And eventually, he's going to speed up. So there. There. That time, he hit me. Um, I don't know why he did there when previously he didn't. But in the end. Eventually, I'm going to hit him enough that he's going to start speeding up. And that means he's almost gone. I decide, because I'm getting bored, that I'm going to experiment, and I'm going to see if I can actually hit him straight ahead, not just when he's... Uh, not just when he's attacking down. And I'll get a bit cocky, and I'll get hit again, but those are the only, t hit, or those are the only hits I'll take in the entire fight. I tried to use my A attack on I don't know if I hit him there, but either way. And yeah, here he's started to speed up now, so he's almost gone. And we've still got about a minute and a half left in this video, so it's not going to be too much longer. Just keep shooting. 
just keep attacking, he'll go down. Yeah, this battle kind of drew out because I was using Magneto, and again, those shots were only half of what a normal attack would do. And he's done. He's escaped. We're gonna escape. We've shut down his computer. We've stopped the phalanx from taking over Apocalypse's fortress. Next stop, the Savage Land. As it says, Apocalypse's phalanx infested computer has been rendered useless and Apocalypse himself has fled. A cluster of phalanx are located in the Savage Land. The assimilation effort is headed by a phalanx clone based in Brainchild's chamber. Stop the Master Clone and the inhabitants will prevail over the Leaderless Colony. So we're going to help the inhabitants of the Savage Land save their place from the phalanx. That's all for today. It's a bit of a longer video than usual. I hope you enjoyed it, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.